Hey folks, Craig Ripley here for another edition of Living Off the Slab. And today I'm here to review uh, the Sport Tail Bag from Viking Bags. Now, Viking Bags has a pretty creative marketing strategy going on right now. They're contacting people like myself who do motorcycle uh, blogs or vlogs and uh, asking them to review some of their products. Uh, they work in conjunction with uh, a online retailer called Motorcycle House that sells both their bags and I guess they also have a line of jackets that they're also asking people to review. But for me, they asked me to review one of their bags and uh, I chose their uh, sport tail bag uh, because I thought it would fit well on uh, my rack for my uh, victory. And also, if I needed to, I could have it double as a uh, rear seat bag um, if I needed some space and uh, maybe a, a good backrest. Now, not knowing anything about Viking bags or the product that I was going to be receiving, first thing I did was to look over the bag and, and check out the quality. And to be honest with you, I was quite pleased. I didn't know what to expect, again, being that I wasn't familiar with the bag, with the company or their products. Uh, but I was very pleased to find out that all of the stitching on the bag uh, seems to be very high quality. The zippers work very well. And uh, said overall, I think the bag is uh, really nicely put together. There's some nice leather accents on the side and up here on the top. Uh, that makes the bag quite attractive uh, and said put together very well. So taking a look inside the bag, we can see that the quality of the bag continues on the inside as well has a nice padded lining on the sides and on the bottom and uh, the lid uh, to the to the bag has some nice zippers, three zipper compartments that uh, easy to get into and out of as well as the bag comes with a rain liner and a handle to, uh, to carry the bag when uh, you're bringing it inside. So in addition to that large inner space that the bag has. There are also on both sides zippered compartments uh, that you can put additional materials in on both sides of the bag. So as the bag sits right now it's about 11, 11 and a half inches wide uh, for its internal space. But if you need more you can always take the zipper, come all the way around the bag, and it's expandable for about a couple inches on both sides, bringing you up to about uh, 13, 14 inches worth of space. They list it as 13, but I think it actually gives you a little bit more than that. I think we're actually looking at about 14 inches of space here. If we take a look at the bottom of the bag, you can see it comes with a nice pad that you can sit on your rack to help it keep from getting scratched. Velcros to the bottom of the bag. And also the bag comes with its own internal velcro, or excuse me, an internal bungee cord system. Uh, basically, pull these out of here. And underneath here, you'll find that there are bungee cords on both sides that you can use to attach to your rack. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Before we go to uh, attaching the bag to your rack, you'll notice that on both sides of, uh, of the bag, in all, actually all four corners of the bag, there are these little clips on here. And what these are used for is attaching a roll bag to the top of this bag so you can have a two bag system. Other than that, they're really not used, so what I think you should do is just tuck them into this little pocket here when they're not in use and keep them out of the way. So using this bungee cord system that the Viking bag has is uh, actually pretty simple. As you can see here, basically what I've done is just run the bungee cord uh, through the hole in my rack and underneath it. And I do that on the other end and then just pull this tight and hook it and uh, it holds pretty securely. I don't think that's going anywhere. Now after looking at all the features on this bag, if you find it kind of familiar, well you're not alone. I thought it looked very familiar to me as well and that's because being an owner of a motocentric bag in the past, uh, I found all these features to be available on their line of bags. In fact, this bag is virtually identical to the motocentric Mototech Sport tail bag, uh, right down to all the pockets 
on the bags. Uh, the only difference here is some minor cosmetic differences with the uh, the sides with the uh, the leather and the leather on the top and other than that that's about the difference uh, even the handle is the same minus the motocentric logo that should go right there on that hole so what does it mean that the viking bag here is virtually identical to the same version of the motocentric tail bag i honestly don't know i brought it to the attention of the folks from viking bags and motorcycle house and their answer was that the bag was designed to meet market demand I don't know what that means. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, bottom line here is I guess that you get the same quality bag uh, for a little bit less price if you go with Viking bags. So in the end here, I can take a look at this bag and tell you that it's a good high quality bag for a reasonable price. But I don't really know anything about the company that makes the bags or the company that's selling them. That is either Viking bags or Motorcycle House. I know that they're a very young company, they've only been around for three or four years, and when I did uh, do some research and when I was Googling them, I did find some complaints about their customer service. Uh, again, they're a young company. When I brought this to their attention, their answer was, well, we're going through goring pains and we did have some issues with uh, availability of the bags and the bags being on back, back order and so forth, as well as I saw some similar things with some of their jackets uh, that they're selling as well. But other than that, they seem like a pretty reputable company. Um, you're going to have to judge that for yourself. Go online. I mean, this is the age of the internet. Get online, Google, look on all of the different places, and you can find reviews on this company and uh, figure it out for yourself. I haven't had the chance to order anything from them, so I can't vouch for that part of it. I can only tell you that this is a really nice bag. Uh, I will probably be keeping it and uh, using it on my bike in the future.